All right, now let me switch to it. Right here, I'm showing now my packet tracer. We have a router and a switch. We're not gonna use the router. We're only gonna use the switch, okay? So let me just zoom in for this particular activity. Uh, and I also have the set of instructions right here. But let me uh, make sure I can put them both in the screen. You got the instructions right here and you got the, the devices here. I'm not showing my the router because I don't, we don't need the router. The router is, I don't know why they put it in this assignment when we don't need it, okay? So here we go. The first thing it says, uh, let me show you the scenario. In this activity, you will use the console cable to connect to a switch. From the terminal, you can observe the screen output during the process, the power up process, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna select end devices. So here's the end devices where the computers are. I'm gonna grab a PC, it says PC0, put it right here. So there it is, I got my PC0, my switch, and I'm gonna connect them together, okay? Using, uh, it says right here, using a console cable. I'm gonna connect to the PC RS32 connector and then click on the switch and connect to the console cable, the console uh, port. So here we go, connections. The blue one is the console, see? And it's the second one in the list. Click on the PC, RS-232, and then go to the switch, console. Boom, I'm connected, look at that. I'm almost done with this activity. So it's a very easy activity. Uh, then the next thing says, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the desktop. Here is some on the desktop now. And open the terminal, look at this program, this terminal program, we have not used it before. So here it is, terminal. And as soon as you click on it, it opens up this window. You're not gonna do anything in this window. You're just gonna click okay. There, and see that the, the, uh, the so I'm already on the switch. This is from the switch. Look at it already started. I have to press enter. So when I press enter, look at or return, I am accessing the switch. Now, in order for me to do any commands, I can do commands here. I'm on this level where it shows that the little uh, uh, greater than symbol. That means I'm only at the in the um, uh, I think they call it the, uh, the console level access, but I have no no access to root to the to the to the um, setup level. In order to do that, I have to type these words. Okay, this word enable. Enable a presenter. Now, see, notice how the the prompt now says switch, and it says the uh, that shows the the the, um, the hashtag. That means now um, I can issue commands. I can issue commands and uh, and uh, and allow me to um, to do things to the router. Now I can program the router. Basically, I'm in the programming mode. The other one is just a user mode where I can just go into it, but there's nothing I can do. All right. So let me go back to the instructions here. Now that I'm here in the terminal, I type the word enable, and I'm gonna reload to restart the switch. Reload is basically kind of like restart. So I'm gonna go reload. I'm gonna press enter. And I'm asking me to confirm it. I'm gonna press enter to confirm. There it is, it's reloading, reloading. Meaning it shuts down the, the um, it shuts down the, 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 in this case, the switch, and then it restarts the switch again. See, look, look at all the things that it showed me right here. This is all the settings of the switch. It's starting by right here, look at. Restricted rights legend, use duplication or disclosure, disclosure. By the government is subject to restrictions that set for that and then gives you all this uh thing uh what is it uh, um issues and then it says software clause so and so cisco systems 170 west tasman and drive avenue san jose uh, california that's where i go all the time when i go to these meetings cisco ios software for that c2960 is software land base version 12.2, it gives you all the versions, all the information as you can see here. And then uh, tell me that two gigabit ethernet IEE8023 interfaces, 24 fast ethernet IEE3 interfaces. And it just give me all that details of the, of the system. Okay, the, the last thing they want us to do, I'm gonna press enter, go again to enable. 
No, once I did any uh, uh, reload, that's it. They just wanted to show this. So make sure that you show this uh, and, and that you're in, uh, um, you can access uh, the, this uh, reload the thing. Once you reload it, you're done with the activity. Take a snapshot of the, this completed activity and submit it to the assignment, okay? So now let me put the assignment on it. That's all you need to do. Not, not much to do. No study difficile. It's just follow the instructions. It's pretty easy. Okay, let me stop that on the, uh, let me stop that uh, recording here.